So, are Christians anti-scientific? If you believe in God, does that mean that you're dumb? That you don't really know anything? <laughs> you know, it's amazing that I actually even have to make this video. But I was like, oh, what the heck, I'm going to make it anyways. Because it's just kind of, you know, it's just, it's just common sense. But for those of you who don't really have a lot of common sense, um, this will be a great video for you. Um, you know, there was many prominent scientists of the 16th and 17th centuries, while perhaps not as overtly Christian as those listed in this section, were at least intellectually committed to the scriptures and to Christ, as well as to a belief in special creation. And even though Galileo, 1564 through 1642, for example, was officially censored for his heliocentric teachings by the church. He himself believed the Bible and that it supported his views. Robert Hooke, 1635 through 1703, was a brilliant physicist and geologist. William Harvey, 1578 to 1657, who discovered the circulation of the blood. Christian Hugens, 1629 to 1695. Tycho Brahe, 1545 to 1601. And I'm sorry if I don't pronounce these um, guys' names right. I'll try my best. And Nicholas Copernicus, 1473 through 1543, are further examples of the numerous scientists of the period who are at least theistic creationists. Um, so yeah, you know, we have many, 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 many um, past scientists who believe in the God creator. You know, some of them were de deists, some of them were not you know, totally theistic in their view of God, but nevertheless, many of the greatest scientists who have ever lived, which would include Isaac Newton, Johann Kepler, I mean, Galileo, amazing scientists, and, um, you know, to just blow them all off and say they were all ignorant, they were all deluded, you know, that they didn't study actual science is just, you know, that's just crazy. You know, how could anyone even say something like that? I really think that a lot of times people just say things out of anger or, you know, out of frustration, you know. Um, you know, obviously there's trolls outside, you know, those scary little monsters that go running around trying to, you know, uh, cause havoc everywhere, you know, like on um, Ernest Scared Stupid, <laughs> right, remember the little troll in the troll house in the woods, you know, you got, you got people, you know, you got trolls running around loose, and um, they'll say some pretty weird things, let me tell you. So, you know, but even just modern day people, some really modern day famous people, believe in a God. Now that co that just flies right in the face, you know, of people like, you know, Bill Nye, the science guy, you know, who came out with this, you know, don't teach evolution or don't teach creation to your kids because that's a form of child abuse. You know, and we can't invent new things and blah 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 blah. You know, yet our own president is a Christian. You know, he believes in Christianity. Don't believe me? Check it up on Wikipedia. Barack Obama. Christianity is his religion. So yeah, he's president. Um, if Christians were that stupid and people that believed in God were that stupid and were that deluded and delusional, how how in the world um, could somebody be in that type of position in the world? Yeah. And I think that he went to a pretty good school. <laughs> But not only that, but the other thing that's really amazing to me is the fact that Ron Paul, right, he's the one that started the revolution in this country, you know, Ron Paul 2012, freedom, you know, uphold the Constitution, all these great things, you know, a lot of young people love Ron Paul. Well, Ron Paul is a Christian, he's a Baptist, and he shares pretty much the same views as I, that I hold. And he was specifically asked, Ron Paul, do you believe in evolution? And he said, no, he believes in creation. 
And of course, if you believe, if you're a Christian, obviously you better believe in creation. Otherwise, you're not being consistent with your belief in what, what the Bible actually says. That's why I get really like, you know, I just, I'm thinking to myself, well, there's all these people out there, right, say they're Christian, but they don't want to believe the first book of Genesis. Well, if you don't believe the first book of Genesis, then pretty much everything else just falls right over. You know, you, you, you can't just insert millions of years and all these other things, you know, into that. Um, it doesn't make any sense. So, let me find some more scientists for you guys. Um, we have a lot of modern day scientists, too, with PhDs. You know, um, you got Dr. William Arian, who is a biochemist in chemistry. You have Dr. Paul Ackerman, who is a psychologist. Um, you know, you got, there's just so many of them. You got a professor, Vladimir Betina, um, in microbiology and biochemistry and biology. Um, you know, we have... Uh, Professor Sung Do Cha in physics, Dr. Ken Cumming in, as a biologist, um, you know, there's just so many, so many scientists, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, Dr. John D. Morris, who's a geologist. Um, Dr. Henry Morris was the founder of the Institute for Creation Research. Um, you know, we have Thomas Burnett in geology, Increase Mather in astronomy, um, Isaac Barrow is a professor of mathematics, um, Francis Bacon with the scientific method. <laughs> you know, the scientific method, Francis Bacon. Um, you know, without the scientific method, how would we have even, you know, went forward in science and invented new things? You know, according to Bill Nye, the science guy, um, all people who believe in God and believe in creation are just ignorant and dumb and whatever, yet it's because of these great scientists of the past and even of the present that we've made new discoveries, that we've invented new things. So actually what he was telling everybody was just simply not accurate. You know, I just, it, it just it just blows my mind of the ignorance, you know, that some people can have. And I mean, um, as far as I'm aware, you know, Bill Nye has a mechanical engineering, um, you know, he's a mechanical engineer. It's not like he has a PhD, you know, or an MD or, you know, something like that. He's just, you know, he's an engineer. <laughs> so it's not like, you know, he's some expert, you know, on creation or evolution. You know, obviously, if you believe in evolution, chances are you're not going to know anything about creation. And some people, you know, are are just narrow-minded, you know, they only want to believe one thing. Um I'm a, I'm have the type of mindset or frame set you know that I like to increase my knowledge and look at a lot of different things you know I don't just learn about Christianity but I learn about um, the Muslims about the Buddhists about many different religions you know so that I can better understand them I learn about evolution I learn about deism I learn about all kinds of different things so you know I learn I'm not just narrow-minded you know. I learned about very many different things, but does that mean that I'm going to believe them all? No, 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 I will not. Um, so yeah, you know, we have so many scientists of the past. You know, John Hutchinson of paleontology, William Winston. Um, you know, there's a whole long list. It's just amazing. And then, and then on top of it, right, you have, you have all of the, you know, people that are living today that believe in creation. And then, of course, you have Einstein. You know, Einstein himself said that 
he believed in God. Um, I can look up the quote right now. Einstein believed in God. All right. It says, a knowledge of the existence of something we cannot penetrate, of the manifestations of the profoundest reason and the most radiant beauty. It is this knowledge and this emotion that constitute the truly religious attitude. In this sense and in this loan, I am a deeply religious man. Wow. Einstein said, science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. I mean, there's a lot of quotes by Einstein, but, you know, he said, when the solution is simple, God is answering, God is sub subtle, but he is not malicious. <laughs> he said, nothing will benefit human health and increase the chances for survival of life on Earth as much as the evolution to a vegetarian diet. You know, I bet you Einstein said that because he realized that the original diet that God actually created human beings to consume was a 100% vegan plant-based diet. And now we see that, wow, people are going on these 100% plant-based diet, like the Dr. McDougall diet you know, grains and potatoes, you know, and the do uh, Dr. Joel Furman and Dr. Dean Ornish and um, Dr. Esseltine, you know, heart attack proof, and putting these people on 100% plant-based diets and having reversal of heart disease, having reversal of cancer, you know, having reversal of their diabetes. Um, Dr. Neil Barnard, um, you know, it should be very obvious and evident to people but not a lot of people, you know, are that bright, you know. Um, so, yeah, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Obviously, if 100% if plant-based vegetarian vegan diet was what humans were actually designed to consume, then that's what's most biocompatible with our body, and our body functions best on that. And if you don't believe me, then just ask the Life Regenerator on YouTube, you know. Even the Life Regenerator has admitted to a belief in God, and he's got quite a crowd, over 60,000. Now, I'm not trying to say these things so that you will believe it, because I can't convince anybody, but I can at least give you reason and maybe some evidence, you know, and things to think about. And that's all I want to do, is I just want to stimulate thought um, for my viewers. You know, um, so yeah, you know, Einstein, many different quotes that he has. But, um, you know, Back to the Bill Nye guy, though, and he makes me, he's, he's kind of funny, you know, he's like, you know, it's, it's dangerous to teach your kids creation, yet it's okay to teach them evolution. Um, in my opinion, you know, a parent should teach their kids many different things, not just one thing. Why indoctrinate somebody with just one thing? You know, teach them many different things. And that's what I think is kind of ridiculous. How in the public school system you're taught evolution, but you're not taught creation. So it's a one-sided thing. You know, it's a one-sided thing and the kids don't ever get to hear the creation side of things. They're just indoctrinated, if you will, or brainwashed into believing evolution. But they're never given the chance to believe anything else because they're not taught anything else. It's only if you have, you know, 
um, a questioning mind that you start questioning things yourself and you start thinking for yourself instead of letting other people think for you. You know, that's what I don't like. Um, and I think it's a little bit ridiculous. So, yeah, so, um, you know, he, he thinks it's wrong. But actually, Bill Nye is actually borrowing from the Christian worldview because if you believe in evolution, then, you know, there is no absolute right or wrong. Uh, there's only absolute right or wrong or morality, if you will, from, uh, you know, an authority who decides what's right and wrong, you know. Basically, it comes down to, to um, one question. Did God make man or did man make God? You know, is God just in the figment of our imagination or is he really real and are we his special creation? You know, you got to answer these questions. There's a lot of questions, you know, really deep questions that evolution cannot account for, that it can't ask, you know, that it can't answer. And many br brilliant, um, well-educated people have understood this. And, you know, all I'm saying is that there's many, 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 many people out there and, and inventors, you know, Henry Ford um, was a, um, um, what was he? I know he, he was an Episc Episcopalian, um, I can't remember the first name, but anyways, you know, I'm not saying that Henry Ford actually invented the automobile, but he was very influential in American history, and, you know, he himself believed in God. So, you know, all I'm saying is that there's many people who have believed in God, but were very amazing scientists, you know, and, and created and invented many different things. And according to this Bill Nye guy, um, you know, you, you can't. You can't, it's because of us that we didn't invent anything or that we can't move forward. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's that's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, you know, and I'm not I'm not making fun of anybody for what they believe. You know, I respect other people's decisions and what they believe. So don't get that, you know, idea or anything, because that's not what I'm saying. Um, but it is kind of amazing how, you know, a person, you know, a person that believes in God, okay, a Christian, whatever, makes a video on YouTube. Oh my goodness, you believe in God, you are terrible, you're delusional, you're ignorant, you don't know anything, blah, 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 blah. Yet, then, you got somebody like President Obama, or Romney, or Ron Paul, or these other amazing figures that everybody loves. But they aren't cursing them out, you know, they're not making fun of them, you know. They're not being like, oh, you're so delusional, you shouldn't be our president, Mr. Ron Paul. Because you know you're you're just delusional because you believe in God so you're you don't know anything you're just dumb you know you're dumb you're stupid you know that's essentially what um, you know I'm hearing from many of the comments from my last video is like if if you're a Christian you believe in God you're anti-science you you can't think right you don't know anything blah 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 you know it doesn't add up it doesn't make any sense. You know, if it'd be much smarter for you guys to attack me personally than to say things like that that don't even logically make sense. You know, it's illogical. So if people are saying illogical things, that's not going to be very convincing to convince me over to your side. You would want to say something logical that would make me think, hmm, that's a good point. You know, I'll, I'll research it. I'll look into it. But as far as I'm concerned, so many illogical things that people say is like, wow, you know, it's not convincing at all. Absolutely not. 
Um, you know, Steve Jobs was, his religion, it says on Wikipedia, was Zen Buddhism, which he was previously Lutheran. So, you know, even Steve Jobs, you know, he was the co-founder, chairman, and the chief executive officer of Apple Incorporated. He was widely recognized as the charismatic pioneer of the personal computer revolution and for his influential career in the computer and consumer electronics fields. You know, uh, in the late 1970s, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak engineered one of the first commercially successful lines of personal computers, the Apple II series. Jobs was among the first to see the commercial potential as Carex PRCs, a mouse-driven graphical user interface, which led to the creation of the Apple Lisa, and one year later, the Macintosh. By introducing the laser writer, he enabled a revolution called desktop publishing. Wow! So Steve Jobs and this um, Steve Wozniak guy you know, they believe in a god? My goodness. Boy, are they delusional. Boy, haven't they discovered and created new inventions. This is just amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow, Bill Nye. It's because of Steve Jobs that we haven't moved forward, you know. That this little device here, you know, is, is not, you know, there's no way somebody that believed in a religion or God could have created something like this. You know, that's that's just amazing. Jeez. So yeah, just some things for you guys to think about. Because, yeah, you know, like, you know, we really just need to, like, think, you know, we gotta think deep. We gotta, we gotta make sense of things. And you know what, people, it's a very hot topic, you know, evolution, creation, religion, God, aliens, all these different things, they're hot topics, just like it's a hot topic to talk about meat eating versus plant eating, you know, the, the paleo uh, primal meat eaters are attacking the vegans, and the vegans are attacking the meat eaters, and then you got the atheists attacking the theists, and the theists attacking the atheists, well, I hope they're not attacking them they're not supposed to do that, but you see what I mean? There's hot topics in so many different areas in life, and I think it's healthy, though, to have good, healthy discussions, um, but I think when people resort to, like, name-calling, and they make illogical statements and conclusions, they are really not thinking right, really through with anything, and they really aren't interested, to be honest. They aren't interested in an increase in knowledge, but they're more interested in just trying to knock down someone's character or whatever, but, you know, um, if you're mature, you know, you know how to handle those things, because it's life, you know, we all deal with things like that, you know, I, I deal with persecution on a regular basis, but, you know, I'm still smiling, because, you know, you have to, it's life, um, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your day, and, um, I appreciate the new subscribers that I have received. Thank you guys for that. And uh, I've been actually on a plant-based diet now for over a month and I'm feeling fantastic. I'm still, you know, eating my veggies, my fruits. Yum yum. You know, maybe I can make some recipe videos coming up shortly, but yeah. Take care guys and I will see you later.